What's going on guys? Coach Frank here at the Critical Bench Compound and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the top four barbell exercises to help you build big, thick, strong, pumped up biceps. So I'm going to walk you through each exercise, giving you short exercise cues, tips, tactics, how to get the most out of these exercises, and then basically share with you how you can incorporate these into either one workout, whether you're looking to really blow your arms up on one day, or really spread these out over the course of your training week. Now the first barbell exercise, obviously guys, with using a barbell for our biceps, is going to be a standard barbell curl. We all know that this is the holy grail of mass building for our biceps. It's going to allow you to move the most weight, it's going to allow you to, 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 to build the biggest biceps, to get the most mass building, to get the most strength out of your movement. Now, when you're wanting to set up for, for a barbell curl, feet should be shoulder width, uh, shoulder width apart, nice bend at the knees. Now, it's not something you want to be super tight here. You don't want to roll your shoulders. I teach just, just where your hands naturally fall. So if you're curious about where do I grab the bar, just stand there and allow your hands to fall right at your sides. So this is going to be where I want to grab and pick up the bar. Now we're not looking to get momentum. This is not a movement to impress your buddies or impress a chick next to you at the gym. It's a movement to build your biceps, to build strength, to build muscle in your arms. So focus on moving the weight with your biceps. So it's a, gonna be a bend and curl here at the elbow, okay? So you wanna breathe out on the way up and on the way down. Slight pause at the bottom. Really focus on feeling those biceps contracting. To hinge at the elbow, bring it back down. Once again, guys, it's not a momentum movement. Really focus on feeling the isolation, feeling those biceps curl. Like I said, guys, that, that right there is gonna be the absolute best exercise for mass, for strength, to really bring out and shape those arms. Now, all the other exercises are gonna allow you to bring in detail, really focus and sculpt those. But before we get into those guys, I wanna share with you a free report that we've just put together. If you're looking to take your training to the next level, if you're looking to maybe shatter through a plateau, break through a training barrier that's holding you back, I want you to visit the first comment down there below. It's the three tips to building lean muscle mass. Guys, these are not exercises, these are actual tips, strategies, tactics on how to build a better program, build a better routine, get more out of your training, add density, add frequency. Some of the best tips that I've incorporated and learned over 10 plus years of working in the fitness industry, training with some of the top level elite coaches, some of the best strength coaches and bodybuilders in the world. So visit that down there, guys. The three tips to building lean muscle mass. Now moving on, guys, to our barbell exercises for your biceps. The second exercise is gonna be a reverse curl. This is gonna get a lot more of your, of your forearms involved, get that upper brachialis, and really work on the thickness of your biceps. So just like we did with the barbell curl, you wanna get shoulder width apart, same thing guys, hands where they naturally fall. Now because it's a reverse curl, your hands are gonna be over as opposed to under. So grab the bar here, same hinge movement at the elbow. So where the movement is gonna be the same, we're hinging at the elbow. And like I said, you guys, you're really gonna feel this and the overall thickness of those biceps. Really getting the shoulders and brachialis involved in the movement as well. Now the third exercise is not one that I see too often anymore. It's a classic. It's a movement from the late 70s, the 80s, the golden era of bodybuilding. Uh, the, the movement focuses really on peak contraction and it's really a movement because it's a shortened movement, allows you to move more weight. It's a seated curl. So you'll see here guys, I'm going to get the barbell in the same position and I'm going to start with it resting on my upper thighs. And as you can see, because the distance is only gonna be from here to here, it is a much short movement. Really focus, like I said, guys, on that peak contraction at the top of the movement. Now, just like we did with our standing curl, we're not focused on momentum. We really wanna feel the biceps moving the weight. So get your, get your hands in place here. Really focus on just driving up. Slight pause at the bottom. Driving up, control it. Slow negative on the way down. All right, so that's the seated barbell curl. Now, because you guys are always asking about how many sets, how many reps, typically with the biceps, you don't ever want to go anywhere lower between, you know, maybe eight to 10. It's not really a mass building strength movement, like maybe with your squats or back, where you can sometimes get a lot of benefit out of four to six reps. Typically, traditionally, you're going to want to work somewhere between the eight to 10, maybe up to 12 to 15, if you want more of a metabolic output of, of the workout. But the fourth and final barbell exercise is gonna be what's called a spider curl or an, in, or, or an incline uh, 
and climb barbell curl. Spider curl because we're gonna obviously have our, our chest up against the pad and arms are gonna kind of be out here in front of us, kind of looking somewhat like a, like a spider, um, but I'm gonna have to grab the bar here. Now, very similar to the seated curl, this movement is once again working and focusing on the peak, peak contraction. So I'm gonna get my chest down in placement, really focus on driving my chest into the pad. And as I curl, I wanna bring those elbows out. I don't wanna curl this way as a, like a back movement. I wanna focus on driving my elbows out in front of me and then really allowing the bar to come out in front of me. Hinging at those elbows, really feeling that top peak contraction at the top of the movement. And that's the fourth movement, guys. All right, guys, so there you have it. The top four mass building barbell exercises specifically for your biceps. Hope you guys got a lot out of today's videos. Like I said, guys, when it comes to sets, reps, putting these into a program, feel free to mash these exercises all up into one specific day or pick one uh, and do them at the end of your, of your workout throughout the week. But like I said, guys, the traditional barbell exercise is gonna be your primary movement, that's gonna be your mass builder, and then all the other accessory movements should be done around it. And then, and then like I shared with you guys, with this free report, the three tips of building lean muscle mass, if you're looking for some accelerated breakthroughs, if you're looking for a way to get to that next level in your training, make sure to visit that pinned comment down there below, pick up the three tips to Building Lean Muscle Mass written by yours truly, but Frank Rich here at Critical Bench Compound. Really hoping you got a lot out of today's video, guys. Make sure to hit subscribe, turn those post notifications on. We'll see you in the next video.